Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. We are typically talking tech at live.perillo.com, and yes, sometimes we even answer questions from the community, including from our partner community at PC Pit Stop. More information, go.tagjag.com slash PC Pit Stop. And this question comes from Carlos, and he asks, does Windows 7 have a sidebar like Windows Vista? Well, the answer is what, community? I'm going to ask. It's got the chat room over here. What's the answer? Yes is the answer, kind of. I mean, you can still run the gadgets as you did in Windows Vista. It's just they're no longer on the side of the screen as they used to be in Windows Vista. Same gadgets. It's just that you can take them away from the side of the screen and float them anywhere on the desktop. And if you have two screens connected to your computer, well, then you'd probably want to run a lot of gadgets. Now, keep in mind, the more gadgets you run, well, the more memory is going to be taken up because each one of those gadgets is a program, and it's something that's running. It's in memory. So I've got Windows 7 running behind me. I can take that gadget, put it over there, take that gadget, put it over there, and look at that, and I can even add more gadgets just like I would inside of uh, Windows Vista. It's just on Windows 7. So if you open up the uh, search command here and type in gadget, you will see the desktop gadget gallery come up as the first option. Let me go ahead and zoom in there and so show you. Desktop gadget gallery. Click that gives you this, page one of one, because I don't have a lot installed, but I can always get more gadgets online. And, as Dark mentions here in the chat room, you can get the Chris Perillo Ustream gadget. It's on Microsoft right now. Just click that little link and then search for Perillo or Chris or Ustream, and then you'd be able to have the live video feed like piped in inside a Windows 7 gadget. And yes, there's an equivalent for a widget inside of Mac OS X, not to leave you in the dark. And I, I believe there's also a Linux gadget widget thing, whatever you happen to be calling these little programs. So the answer is yes and no. Is it a safe upgrade? Absolutely. I would recommend wholeheartedly to upgrade to Windows 7, especially if you're using Windows Vista. And as I said, if you really don't like your gadgets floating on the desktop, just keep them on the side of the screen. No big deal. My email address, chris at perillo.com. You know you can join us in our community of tech enthusiasts, geeks.perillo.com. You can start archiving your own live stream, your tweets, your YouTube videos, Flickr photos, whatever, over on lockernome.net. It's now open for business in beta. And we also have uh, this uh, chat room here. It's kind of a part of the live video feed. Uh, it's going out over the web 24 hours a day, seven days a week, which, as I said in the beginning of the video, is typically talking tech at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.